The Ludlum Model 19 is a very sensitive meter designed to detect low-level gamma radiation. It can measure from 0 to 5,000 micro R per hour. It uses an internally mounted 1 by 1 inch sodium iodide scintillation type detector. The meter movement is housed in a rugged aluminum bezel with water-resistant seals. All controls are located on the front panel, and the front panel switches have rubber boots to help seal out moisture and dust. The front panel controls are an audio on slash off switch, a fast slow switch for the response time of the meter, a lamp push button to light the meter display, a high voltage test button to display the high voltage setting, a battery test button to test the battery voltage, a reset switch used to drive the meter needle back to the zero position, a rotary switch to turn the meter on and select the active range of the instrument. D-cell batteries must be installed in the battery compartment. Be sure to insert them with the correct polarity as indicated on the battery lid. The Model 19 is different from most Ludlum meters in that it has ranges instead of multipliers. The first and highest range position is 5,000, which measures from 0 to 5,000 micro R per hour. You must use the top scale of the meter and add two zeros to the reading. So if the needle points to 40, it is reading 4,000 micro R per hour on that range. Note that the numbers on the range switch correspond to the color of the numbers on the meter display. Black numbers in this instance. The next range position is 500. This measures from 0 to 500 micro R per hour. Again, you must use the top scale of the meter, but add one zero to the reading. So if the needle points to 40, it is reading 400 micro R per hour on that range. The next range position is 250, which measures from 0 to 250 micro R per hour. You must use the bottom scale of the meter and add one zero to the reading. So if the needle points to 20, it is reading 200 micro R per hour on that range. Note that the numbers on the range switch correspond to the color of the numbers on the meter display. The numbers are red in this instance. The light switch on the meter will turn on a light to illuminate the display in a dark environment. The HV test button shows the high voltage setting of the Model 19. To use this button, turn the instrument to any range other than off. Then press the HV button and read the lower scale of the meter. Each tick mark corresponds to 100 volts. In this example, the needle is pointing at the 8 mark on the lower scale which represents 800 volts. The BAT button will show the current power level of the batteries when pressed. To use this, turn the instrument to any range other than off, then press the BAT button. Ensure the needle falls within the BAT OK section of the meter dial. If it is below this, the batteries need to be changed. The reset button is used to provide a means to drive the needle back to zero on the display. This is useful if the meter has gone full scale and you move to a higher range position. The detector is near the bottom of the instrument with the crystal near the front, so when using the Model 19, point the instrument towards the item being surveyed. Although the detector will detect 360 degrees around the meter, it should be facing towards the potential source. As with most meters, you should start with the most sensitive range, the 25 position. If the meter goes full scale, you increase the range switch to the next highest position. Repeat as necessary to get a reading. Reverse the process if the readings drop to near zero. If you have a specific point at which you make a decision, you can just use one range. That makes it simpler to train operators and to use the meter. For example, the current regulation for naturally occurring radioactive material in Texas states no more than 50 micro R per hour. In that case, you could train your operators to use just the 250 range position, and if the reading goes above the red 5 tick mark, which is equal to 50 micro R per hour, then it is too much. Alternatively, you can use the 50 scale, and if the indicator goes full scale, then it is too much. That concludes our video on the operation of the Ludlum Model 19 micro R meter.